Welcome back to BIM 360 Basics. So in these last few videos, we've been talking about the different ways that you can share your models and collaborate with them using Revit and BIM 360 design. I want to talk about another method, and that's using the shared folder. And to get into talking about the shared folder, we have to talk about packages. So what exactly is a package? Now, uh, if this were a clean project, if I hadn't done anything in this project, the timelines that you see at the top would be empty. But instead, you see that there are some circles on these timelines. Just ignore those for now. We'll pretend they're not even there, and let's pretend this is a fresh project. So I've just initiated this architectural model for collaboration, and maybe my team's been working on it for a little while using Revit work sharing and using live linking, the stuff that I showed in the previous videos. But now I'm ready to make this available for one of the external teams. I'm ready to make it available for Madrigal engineers, my structural engineer, to be able to see it and use it and work with it. How do I do that? I do that by creating a package. So here on my timeline, I simply go over here to the right end, click the plus sign, and that creates a new package. In that package, I can select what I want to include any views, any sheets. I'm just going to include everything in this particular package. I'll click Save, and then I'll click Share. I can give the package a name. I can enter a description if I like. I can even add it to a document set, which is for another day. But I'll just go ahead and click Share. And what we see here is a brand new package created today, September 13th that's going to make that model available for any other teams working in my project. Now in this example project we only have one other team, Madrigal Engineers, but that team will now have access to this package. Now there are two ways that that team can get to this package. One is through the shared folder, which is what we're going to cover in this video, and another is through consuming the package, which we'll cover in the next video. So what do I mean by the shared folder? It's actually pretty simple. And it's best displayed in the document management section of BIM 360. You'll notice here in document management there is a shared folder. And if I expand that out, you'll see that there is a folder here for each team that's participating in the project. When I created that package just a moment ago, it took the latest published version of the model and placed it in the Epic Architects folder under shared. I can go into Revit now and I can link to this model. And now every time I'm in Revit and that team, Epic Architects, creates a new package, it's automatically going to update this file, which will subsequently update the link into my other model. So let's jump into Revit and see how that linking would take place. Okay, so I'm here in Revit, I'm in the structural model, and I'm logged in as Tom Anderson, the structural engineer. Now, as Tom, I might think, no problem, I'll just live link to the architectural model and I can see all their changes all day long. So let's try that out. I'll go to Insert and Link Revit. I'll use the external resources icon and drill down into the project. But what I'll find is I don't even have access to the Epic Architects folder. I'm not on that team, right? I'm an external team. I'm not, I don't have the permissions or the privileges to live link with that team. I have to do what I'm capable of doing. What I can do, as you can see, is I can access the shared folder. So I'll open shared. I want to access a file shared by Epic Architects. And there you see the file right in that location. So I don't have access to Epic Architects folder directly, but when they submit a package and that package is copied into the shared folder, I can live link to that. So that is a published version of the BIM 360 model. So it's not the live, the live version in Revit, and it's also the one that they decided to share as a package. So that gives Epic Architects the control over when I, the structural engineer, am able to access their model. They can decide when it's ready, when the right amount of changes have been made, or at what point in time they want to make it available to me. When they do that, it's very easy for me to link the model in. Now, if the architect were to submit a new package, I would just have to refresh the link and the latest version of the architectural model would load up. That simple. So that's how collaboration using the shared folder 
works using Revit and BIM 360 design. Thanks for visiting BIM 360 Basics. Keep checking back for more tutorials, tips, and tricks, all having to do with BIM 360.